This is a tutorial about using a flip-flop or checkbox controller to turn layers on and off. Uh, you can use this to put things in front or behind by linking your layers and you want to show something behind. Uh, in this example we have a duck that is moving right to left and it looks like it's going behind the beach ball but everything is 2D layers and it's all just the organization of the layers and we're going to walk through really quickly. Here's the expression up here. If you want to read it from here it will also be in the comments or wherever the caption stuff is. What it allows you to do is turn layers on and off based on their opacity. So when you use this checkbox you're not really turning things on or off. You're just turning on or off the visibility. What you're saying is if, and this is just sorting through your comp, you can use the pick whip to develop this, or you can copy and paste, whatever works. If this comp layer, duck, so we're on the duck layer, if this duck layer, look for the effect that I've named flip flop, here's flip flop here, if the checkbox is zero, then opacity is zero, and you can see if it's unchecked, it's off, if it's checked, it's on. These hold keyframes are controlling whether it's on, it's on, and then once it gets to this point, it turns off. And at this point, it is showing this duck behind. Not a duck butt, but a duck behind. And this fill is what's taking care of this. Uh, you could alternatively use an exposure setting on here if you want to use the same art and make it look a little bit different. So it's like a shadow side or a hue and saturation or just whatever you want to do. You just want to be able to tell the difference between these two. One thing that you do want to watch out for, in my opinion, is that if you are using the fill, for example, you can see the edge here when this is on and off or when this layer is on and off. There's a little bit of a aliasing effect going on. So you can duplicate this composition's expression and you can put it onto your behind layer. And I'm gonna put this here. And now what's going on is the exact same expression. So when our duck eventually turns off, all the ducks turn off. So we can flip this by just changing this zero to 100 and this 100 to zero, which is pretty handy. So now, you only see one duck at a time. Uh, ignore the, the crappy flip there. This is just about getting this expression out. And now you don't have that crunchy red edge duplicated or any of your pixels duplicated. And that's like a very super, super nitpick, but some people will be able to see it. I used it on this project to flip flop the arms. So the arm can go behind and in front of this animated character. It's a little slow to render because you end up having to have multiple layers of everything. So if you have hands, you have to have duplicate hands. If you have arms, you have to have duplicate arms. And if you have controls, you have to have pretty much duplicate controls. Uh, I was using rubber hose on this and it gets pretty, pretty darn slow. But you can see on this left hose, I have a flip flop and that animates the, con the opacity of these arms. Try to get this to render a little faster. It, it does slow things down, especially if you end up using effects like rubber hose, just because you're duplicating it. You're not really turning it on or off. You are actually just turning the opacity to zero. Sometimes After Effects is smart enough to not render that, but sometimes it has to compute all this stuff anyway, like in the case with rubber hose, which is why it's not beautiful there, but it works and it's great. So this front arm in front, and it switches over and goes behind. So there you go. That's a super quick and simple way to do a f in front and behind using two different layers, turning them on and off with a flip flop switch. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll try to take care of them.